Hey, Eddie and Dexter. I'm going to read you a story today, which is one that you really love, called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I'm sitting here in the kitchen because, you know, I've had a bit of trouble with uh, the reflections on the book. It means you can't see the pictures very well, so we're going to try this way. So, are you kind of sitting in a way that you feel comfortable for reading The Tiger Who Came to Tea? Because it's such a good story. We had a good time reading it the other day. Okay, here it is. See? Again, the words are all up back to front. So you can see a T there. That's a T for Tom, as you know. But all of the other words, all of the other letters are back to front. I'm going to have to solve that problem when you guys start to read a bit more because it was just confusing for you that the words are all back to front. But don't you love how this tiger's tail curls around? And look, it's curling on Sophie's knee. He looks like such a happy tiger, doesn't he? Okay. Tiger who came to tea. <coughs> Here he is. There's Sophie riding on his back. And look how happy and smiley that tiger is. He looks pretty proud. And Sophie, she's not even holding on, except she's holding on with one hand to his tail. Maybe the tiger is a girl. I don't know. We might find out when we're reading about it. Sophie is definitely a girl. So there's the tiger's tail. And there he is. And they're both drinking from a a glass with a straw there, which is kind of funny, isn't it? So the tiger came to tea. Are you ready? Once, there was a little girl called Sophie. And, mm -mm, hold on, I have to get so I can see the words as well. Once there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. His mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy, little boy from the grocer, because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy, because he's got a key. He's got his key, so... You know, he comes and opens through himself. There he is holding his key. We'd better open the door and see, she said. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? And Sophie's mummy said, of course. Come in. I'd say, of course, come in too, wouldn't you guys? So, the tiger came in and sat down at the table. Look how happy Sophie's mummy is. Sophie's kind of pleased as well. I really love Sophie's tights, don't you? Would you like to have some tights like that, Eddie? Pretty cool, eh? Oh, that tiger's tail is just about getting in that bowl of biscuits there on the on the table, isn't it? It's just as well, you know, the tiger came to tea, but came to tea because they've got a big bowl of biscuit, a big bowl of muffins, and a huge cake for just Sophie and her mummy to eat. So it's just as well the tiger came to share it, really, don't you think? I think so. Sophie's mummy said, <clears throat> "Would you like a sandwich?" But the tiger didn't just eat just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. <coughs> and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. He likes the look of those buns, doesn't he? But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, well, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. 
He must have been extraordinarily thirsty. Look, he's just got the teapot and he's just pouring it straight into his mouth like that. Hope it's not too hot or he'd burn his tongue, eh? Seems to be fine, though. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Sophie's giving him a big cuddle. There's the empty teapot on the floor. And I think that tiger's having a good look and thinking, hmm, I kind of like the look of that garlic hanging up there. Or, hmm, those tins look pretty good in the cupboard. Like the look of those lemons right there. Do you think he's thinking that? He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans. Once again, I think he must have had no problem at all with very hot things, don't you? Seems to manage them no trouble. And all the food in the fridge. Look, he's got on top of the fridge, opened the door, and just going in that way. Handy. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. There's Sophie sitting on the floor watching him. And there's the tiger eating all the things in the cupboard. What a huge smile on his face. He's a happy tiger. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all the beer and all the water in the tap. Can you believe it? What a thirsty tiger. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. It's a very polite tiger, isn't he? How he waves and says thank you and things like that. Which is just as well, because it really is nice to say thank you. You guys are very good at saying thank you. But Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. There she is. Looks kind of worried. What a nice little jug that is sitting on the table. I'd like a jug like that with pink spots, wouldn't you? I bet you would, Daddy. All of that mess the tiger has made, leaving all that stuff. She's like, what do I do first? And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. There she is putting her nightie on. And she just has to have no bath. Just then. Sophie's daddy came home. Hello, I'm home, he said. At least that's what I imagine he'd say, don't you think? He's got a nice face too, hasn't he? So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten, had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. Looks like Sophie's mummy's really anxious about it, but Sophie's just quietly standing there remembering the tiger and thinking that was kind of cool. That's Daddy's bag and his hat. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. Well, I think it would be fantastic for Sophie because she what a fun thing to do to put your gum boots on on top of your nightie and your coat on on top of your nightie and go outside into the dark and walk down the road to a cafe wouldn't that be a fun thing to do and it's even more fun when you hear what they have so they went out into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. 
And look guys, I want to show you something. Can you see this bus here? That's a bus and it's got two stories, not just a bus with one row of windows, but it's got another row of windows as well. That's what the buses are like in London. And when Ian and I are in London, that's the kind of buses we go on. I'll send you a picture sometime. So there they are, walking down the road to the cafe. I think that looks amazing. Did you notice that there's a cat that looks rather like a tiger there on the footpath? You see that guy? He looks a lot like the tiger, doesn't he? And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. And I know what Dexter's saying and Eddie's saying, mmm, ice cream. And mm, sausages and chips. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. There's the very big tin of tiger food, see? It's got a picture of the tiger on it. But, he never did. Can you read this bit? Remember it says, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Your turn, Eddie. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Your turn, Dexter. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's such a great story, isn't it? Okay, my darlings, I've got to go now. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.